A cool and crispy Wednesday morning to you all. It's 7 a.m. Here we are on Conway Street, downtown Lismore. So straight into it this morning. I'm sure a lot of you have heard the great news with New South Wales Premier Don Perrottet announcing the establishment of the Northern Rivers Reconstruction Corporation. This is such fantastic news and a massive win. Something Janelle Safin has been really pushing for since day one. I told you, man, you can't mess with lightning hands, Janelle. And a massive thank you to those 19,000 people who signed the petition. So as we know, the reconstruction and uh, recovery is gonna be a long-term thing. With the Reconstruction Corporation kicking off officially from July 1st, with this body coordinating the planning and rebuilding of things like infrastructure and, and housing, they'll have the power to fast track developments and proposals and all that kind of stuff. But they're also considering moving essential services and, and businesses to higher ground. Although I haven't heard anything about homes as of yet. For those who wanted to relocate to higher ground, would they be supported? Fingers crossed we hear more on that soon. Such an incredible start nonetheless. Just to quickly mention, I ran into the Mayor Steve Krieg after I, I said that, and he said that the housing is actually included, so. So a main component of the Reconstruction Corporation is input from the local community members and of that specific local government area as well. Because this will be for all seven local government areas in the Northern Rivers, with each different community obviously having different needs. So they will be making an advisory board who will be working directly with these local councils over the Northern Rivers. So the needs of that particular area can be passed back up the chain to make sure that crucial and local knowledge is put first and not from some dickhead behind a desk. So for more information on the Northern Rivers Reconstruction Corporation, jump online. And speaking of businesses, don't forget to check out the Lismore Business Directory. We've got more businesses that have reopened this week. I'll put the link below, check that one out. Lismore is powering Fords. Looks like a gang of tradies. If you're still in need of a mattress, the legends at Lismore's Goodnight Sleep Appeal might be just able to help you out. All you need to do is get in touch with them. They'll send you a form and voila. So if you know anyone that needs a mattress, get in touch with me and I'll point you in the direction. So I just wanna give a shout out to my good friends at Miyagi Khan Karate here in Lismore, who like many lost everything. They've proudly said they're not giving up on this town and uh, so they're trying to get back on their feet. So please support these guys in any way you can. If you know of anyone that may be interested in joining, or hey, if the kids are giving you the shits, maybe a karate class is the golden ticket. Go check out their Facebook and I'll link it below. Gurney party. And just to finish on today, the absolute legends here at the Koori Mail are putting on a free community day today. This is to celebrate their first edition back since the floods. Hoorah! So get on down here from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. There'll be barbecues, food stalls, fairy floss, jumping castles. Come on down and have a boogie. Brews and Bowls are doing coffees today out the front of La Baraka. Thanks, legends. <laughs> We've got Headley Grange back again, caffeinating Lismore. Thanks, guys. Oh, see you, man. And we've got Henry's Bakery reopened yet again, legends. And we've got Dragonfly Cafe as well, open again here for the people. So many friendly and smiley faces out today, and it's only Wednesday. So keep looking after each other, and uh, as always, stay safe.